Hey everybody, this is Ray Moonwolf. Welcome back to my playthrough of Animal Crop. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm still on Animal Crossing. This is Paper Mario. Yash. Just finished recording an episode of that, so that's kind of why it, uh, that just happened. Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. Report your evilness. Mario defeated the Goomba King. He's heading for Toe Town now. What? Unbelievable. What's that Goomba King thinking? I use the Star Rod to make him a king because he break me. And Mario whips him so easily? What a wimp. Uh, Kami Koopa, you are sure that Mario can't ever defeat us, right? Please, please, your violence. Try to be calm. K Goomba King is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter because while you hold the Star Rod, you're definitely invincible. You couldn't beat Mario with one claw tied. You could beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. Yes, yes, very good. <laughs> By the way, Kami Koopa, those star spirits we captured don't have any way of giving Mario their power, do they? Please don't worry yourself. Each is held separately, and each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can't save all seven of the star spirits. Hmm. Who's the closest spirit, star spirit to Mario? Is that at Koopa's, Koopa Bros Fortress, right? If Mario somehow reaches there, can the Koopa Bros defeat him? King Bowser, you mustn't worry. Oh, well, what's going on? Obvious reference is obvious. So, well, there's two references here. There's fucking Ninja Turtles and there's fucking uh, Super Sentai. Here come the Koopa Bros. Uh-huh, oh yeah, we're the coolest of cool. We're the dorkiest of dorks. Kerry Koopa, are you sure these guys can get the job done? The Goomba King was gigantic, and even he couldn't beat Mario. Pshaw, get real, King Bowser. Yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total wimp bolo. We're nothing like him. See, what we've got going on is the power of teamwork. Together, we can put the hurt on Mario in seconds flat. Excellent, that's the spirit. Set it, Koopa Brothers. Show our king that special attack you do so well. Yes, ma'am. Ready, everybody? Ooh. That... this is... ooh. How'd you like that, King Bowser? How was it? Oh, yeah. Excellent. Really. I'm not that impressed, eh? I'm not... Th that... that... Uh, I can't read today. Mario won't have a chance if you finish him with that attack. We'll take him, King Bowser. By the way, my Koopa brothers, about the captured star spirit I've locked up in your fortress, who's guarding it right now? Uh, nobody, sir. You know, we're here, and so... You idiots! Use your heads! Get back to that fortress and guard that star spirit! Ah, <sighs> Bowser, Bowser, Bowser. What a... what a... What a special guy you are. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue on. Uh, if I recall right, sleepy sheepy. Very nice, very nice. And let's smack this. And with that, we can get up here and find the treasure chest. The hammer throw badge. Very nice. Can I? Oh, forgot the controls. Uh. I don't really need close call right now. Hammer throw is uh, more useful at the moment. Let's go ahead and head into Toad Town. I am not doing Toad's voice. That will kill my throat. Mario, I'm so glad you're okay. The town is in an uproar. The princess kidnapped. The very castle uprooted. It's bedlam. I really don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario, save her highness. <sighs> well... First up, let's see if our brother is doing all right. By the way, I love this song. I wonder what my brother Mario is doing right now. Oh. Oh, oh Mario, it's you. Good to see you. And you're all right? After that cra castle craziness, I was really worried about you. I ran outside just as the earthquake started, so I managed to escape in time. Oh. Hmm. Oh, and who are you? 
I'm Gubario, nice to meet you. I see. Great, just great. You're on an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. See, someone has to look after this house, so I can't leave. Oh well, take care of Mario, okay? Let's see. Good luck, Mario. You just have to save that princess. Easier said than done. Easier said than done. Let's see, I forget if there's anything in this tree or not. No? Alright. So, with Mario's house, we can go in. And right here we've got our records. Let's see, badges collected, star pieces collected, number of battles, number of first strikes, number of enemies first strikes. All right, and right here, box of letters addressed to Mario Go. It's empty right now. We can rest right here, but we're pretty good right now. Let's go ahead and go back to Toad Town. I believe what we need to do is go to Shooting Star Summit, but let's take a look see what's going on. This is the shop, Power Block, Fire Flower, Honey Syrup Mushroom. And I'm going to save my, my inventory for now because you've got a very limited inventory in this game. And who are you guys? Above us on the top floor is there's a Jojo. We're always here. We are here, always, training at the dojo. Unless our master isn't here, in which case the dojo is closed. A letter just arrived saying the master will return soon. We will train again soon. Our master is water wandering the world to purify his mind and train his body. Our master was a strong man. He is going to come back a very, very strong man. We will wait here, right here, until our master returns. Waiting is part of our training. You must be patient. Like the flowing stream. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm being weird. Ah. Uh, oh, star piece. I forgot about that. Okay, behind the sign is Toad, Ground, Toad Town Underground News. Naughty. Gossip-loving Toad. Let's see. Princess Peach kid kidnapped. Castle uprooted. A few days ago, Princess Peach's castle was... Yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh boy. I wonder how often this happens to the toes. Like, is it a once a month thing, once a year, or is it every other Tuesday? I'm legit curious. Over here... Ralph's the name? Eh. Ralph is confused. <laughs> Sorry. That, that, that popped up for some reason. I'm starting to... Starting me up a little business in Toad Town. I'm still setting up though. I want to see you back here when we open, all right? So I don't think this place will open up till like after chapter one, and we're still in the prologue. Water and dirt, sunshine, power, beautiful blooms, beautiful flowers. Hello, my name's Minty. Please enjoy the beauty of this flower garden. I've heard there's a lovely flower we don't have here. Supposedly, bulbo bulbubs have the only known seeds. This is what a bulbub looks like. If you find a bulbub, would you get seeds for me? I'll plant them in this flower garden and raise them lovingly. Hmm. Remember that for later, viewers. Oh. Red, black, yellow, green. Hmm. Wonder what you're supposed to be. Eh. We'll worry about that later. Over here, we've got the post office. My dad was a postal worker. Greetings. The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. He, he worked at a post office for like 30 years. He's retired now. Yes, hello, this is the post office. You can read any letters that arrive for you or your other party members. Let's see. Oh, you seem to have some mail. We got something for Goombario. From the red and blue Goombas. Here you go. Goombario, you were a lot stronger than you looked. We figured you were just some punk Goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us and showed us that being good is as important as being strong, so... When you come back, do you think maybe we could be friends? Please say yes. We'll be here waiting. Red and blue Goomba Bros. Uh, uh, that's kind of cute. They're reforming. Let's see. If I recall right, we can't go down this way just yet. I believe there's a glitch that allows you to get past this, but... I don't really want to try to attempt it because I'll probably fuck up the game somehow and I don't want to do that just yet. Or, I mean, I don't really want to. It's not what this Let's Play's for. Uh, anyway, let's go on ahead. Yeesh. 
castle really is gone. Can't believe it, Princess Peach's castle was here just a little while ago. Wow. I was in that castle. I was in the castle when I started to shake, but my lightning quick feet got me out. I know Luigi made it out along with maybe a few others, but everyone else was taken. Uh, well, at least they didn't get the entire kingdom in the castle. That would have been a problem. Anyway, I believe. Yep. This is the way to Shooting Star Summit, but before we go there, there's a little place just right here. Let's go ahead and go on in. Hmm. It's empty. Remember this for later, viewers. Ah, my my. Hello there, Mario. This spot is a little tight for fortune telling. If you want your fortune read, talk to me over the counter. I foresaw your arrival, Mario. My name is been Lovely. I'm a stunning fortune teller. My noble calling is to read fortunes while looking absolutely ravishing. I can I can help you find what you seek. My twinkle star here will show you all that is hidden. My my, tell me, shall I read your fortune? Um, no thanks. That's just so you can find like important things here and there. If you're missing like certain upgrades or items. Anyway, up here. I'm the famous Merlot of Shooting Star Summit. I collect star pieces. I have the biggest collection. Mister, you have any star pieces? If you do, I'll swap the cool badges for them. Alright, so... I believe... Th th these two, Peekaboo and Zaptap, are like my go-to badges for this game. But... It's going to be a little while before I can grab them, and even longer before I can actually use both at the same time. Peekaboo uh, makes it so you see the enemy's health bar, which kind of renders Goombario a little bit uh, pointless, sadly. Like I'm not a super big fan of Goombario as a uh, as a partner because you get so many better ones in this game and even in later games too, like. Mm. Anywho's it, let's continue on up to, up to Shooting Star Stunt. And of course, there's a star piece here. I mean, why wouldn't it be right here? Let's continue on. Up, up. Ah. The music of this game and the atmosphere is just so wonderful. Ah, well, if it isn't the star from before. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. We're the Seven Star Spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful star haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes like, for instance, I'd like to trance Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. So, wanting to be stronger, or wanting someone to like you, is considered selfish. Got it. Bowser, that fiend. When he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. He seemed content right now, but mainly because he's defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he, he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. It's the responsibility of the Seven Star Spirits to keep the Star Rod safe and use it properly. We must get the Star Rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all-powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He is terrible to behold. Once we Seven Star Spirits are reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are. Alas, 
We've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're there beside you, it is only an illusion. We are using all the strength to communicate with you over a great distance, but even now our strength is fading. We've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario. First of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario. You are our last hope, and we will... Mario, looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. Well, let's go ahead and continue. <gasps> Mario's probably hurt. Everyone is in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only someone could help me. <laughs> My dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now, even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Princess Peach, as long as I have this star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know the power that grants everyone's wishes? It's mine! Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years. Question. There's... You know what? Never mind. I'll, I'll come back to it later. If you, you know, want anything, all you need to do is ask me, Princess. I can grant wishes. Of course, I'll only grant requests that I like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, Princess. You'd better not cause trouble. <laughs> oh, please. If someone could help me. Hmm? Huh? Well, what's this? What a cute, cheerful little tune. Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. God, that name is... <laughs> means something so completely different nowadays. Ugh, poor kid. But you're... you're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get here? I came from Star Heaven, the, the haven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, you came because I wished that someone could help me? Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take that star ride back from Bowser, okay? Think you can do it? Um... Uh, sorry. That's a little much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Star Haven could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Please ask for something easy. Something a small star can do. Then, can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured and I have to save them as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just got called up to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. Wow, you are just all sorts of useless at the moment. It's alright. Don't be sad, Twink. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Oh. Twink, do you think you could find Mario? I want you to give this to him. This is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do that, Princess Peach. I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom as quickly as I can. Did you eat it or something? Oh, wait, Twink. One second. Can you also... Please tell Mario that. I'm fine and he shouldn't worry. Okay, can you tell him that? Of course. I'll tell your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely. Now, don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? Aww. 
are you? Where are you? Aww. Well then, we know what we must do, so let's go ahead and head on out. Oh, ow! Ouch! Oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry. I'm in your cherry. Oh, it's... you're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars I found you. Woohoo! Yay! Whippee! How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Uh, yes, here it is. Here this it is. Take it. Now we can do action commands, which means we can do more damage to everything. That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. Now that it's yours, you can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain what the action command is? No, it's better that I just show it off. No. Oh, okay, great. I don't even have to explain. Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific. You'll be much tougher in battle now. Here you are? What? It can't be. Were you following me? What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll tell Kami Koopa. She'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. Here I come. Oh, we got a mini boss already. Let's go ahead and... Oh, couldn't pull it off. Darn it. I am so... There we go. There's how you do the action command. I am apparently not very good at this. There we go. Just need a little more practicing. Wow, that was it. <sighs> but yeah, as you can see, the action command allows you to deal more damage, and if you time it right, you will take less damage as well. I'm probably not going to be able to do the latter very well, given that I'm using a wireless controller. I know that you'll be able to beat the defeat Bowser. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. Oh, all right. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you a message from Princess Peach. I'm all right, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave, you must save Princess Peach. What a good little star kid. There he goes, back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and see. No, that... I was trying to remember how the, uh, how to lower the uh, the uh, status menu, but <sighs> okay, I'm pressing things and things aren't coming up. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I'm trying to remember how the controls are mapped on this gamepad. Oh, Mario, Merlin was looking for you. He lives in that house with the spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are. It's rare for Merlin to call someone to his house. He's a bit eccentric, even when he has visitors. It's rare for him to come out of this house at all. Oh, really now? Well, let's go say hello. Merlin is out. Why do you keep on knocking? I keep telling you he's out. Oh, ow. What the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. Oh, maybe. No. Yes, it must be. No, Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should come. You've come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. Where to begin? My name is Merlin. I'm a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important and it concerns you. But before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It's a very long story, but I will try to shorten it. Where should I start? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was up on Shooting Star Summit, and as usual, but one day it happened. Suddenly, a great appeared, and I, standing face to face, and 
far away, the far away, the highest was raised me up was amazing. I was still so young then. I believed in, but our hearts were, and then so. Blah 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 and that's all that matters. Huh? Hey, Mario, were you listening to me? Oh yes, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, all right. So anyway, that's why I'm able to help you. If you get lost during your adventure, you can come to me. I can predict the path you should take for a small price. Right, now your main goal should be to save Princess Peach as quickly and as humanely possible, but according to my second sight, your path must first take you to the great fortress of the Koopa Brothers. To reach the Koopa Brothers fortress, head east on, t on the road in front of the Toad House. Oh, yes. Alright, Merlin. Thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and see what's going on. You don't want to go out there. It's way too dangerous. Going to Koopa Bros Fortress will be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely don't go. Most of all, though, you shouldn't a go ask Old Man Merlin for help. That would be really bad news for us. I, I mean, for you. Don't even think about it. Oh, really now? Really, you say? Alright. Let's go talk to the old man himself and see what he has to say. Come right in. Strange toes blocking the east side of Toad Town? That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never, never been heard of. Never. I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. This surprisingly took me a long time to figure out as a kid when I first played this game. I was not that bright. I told you that you can't pass. Take off. You aren't toads, are you? Um, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? A ask anyone, we're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves! Hoorah! Yeah. Hm, just as I thought. You're the Koopa Brothers. How, how did you guess it was us? It was perfect, we were perfectly disguised. Shucks. Black, yellow, green, we retreat. For now. Mario, those imposters were none other than the Koopa Brothers. You must pursue them to their hideout, the Koopa Brothers Fortress. Oh, Mario, there's one part of, for of the, your fortune I haven't revealed. To get the Koopa Brothers, to get to the Koopa Brothers Fortress, you'll need help from a blue-shelled Koopa. This is a strange potent in. Ko this is a strange portent in Koopa Village. You might find something that will clear it up. I must return home now. Ugh, what a day! What a day! Uh, <laughs> Alrighty, so we've done quite a bit today already, and well, I guess then in the next episode, we will go ahead and start Chapter 1, Storming the Cooper Brothers Fortress. Until then, later guys!